Hey guys, this is Anthony, and yes, it's time for another Firefox review. So Firefox 46 was released on April 26, 2016. This is the third Firefox update of 2016, and there were over 3,000 bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities. Again, not much to report in this update, just a couple of key changes to share with you. First off, if you've been closely following Firefox changes, you know that Mozilla made extension signing mandatory. So if you were using Firefox add-ons that were not signed in, they would be disabled. Mozilla provided a timeline for implementation and had indicated that in Firefox 46, they would remove the Firefox preference to override and enable the disabled add-ons. They have now decided to keep the Firefox preference until Firefox 47, so you will still be able to use the manual override. You can check this tutorial to learn how to enable your disabled Firefox add-ons. The second change to report has to do with the GIT uh, JavaScript uh, just-in-time compiler. It has been enhanced to improve security of JavaScript code on web pages by making the code either writable or executable but never both at the same time. Essentially making it more difficult for hackers to exploit certain bugs. If you didn't understand a word I said about JavaScript JIT compiler, don't worry about it. For those of you who want to explore more about this change, head over to Gendem's blog post. You'll find a link in the description section. So those were the two major updates worth reporting in Firefox 46. You can check the full list of changes in the release notes and again you'll find the link in the description section. And these were the results of the BrowserMark benchmark test I ran on Firefox 46 and Google Chrome 50. Overall, as usual, Google Chrome continues to outperform Firefox as you can see from the results. You can feel free to check my other Firefox reviews and tutorials on my YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.